There's no other way to put it. This one-on-one -on -one match is going to be a struggle in every sense of the word. Neither man looks like they are remotely entertaining the idea of backing down. This is gonna be good. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it. This is all about skill, determination, and power. And we're watching human gridlock here. No one will budge. As we watch Ultimate Warrior, let's get your take on him. What do you think about Shawn Michaels? Ultimate Warrior's strength is so crushing, he once snapped a steel chain in a tug-of-war. Looking fresh right now, which is good. You gotta wonder how much longer that can last, though. Whoa! HBK dodged that one. Ow! Ooh. You know, when I think of the Ultimate Warrior, there's one thing I think of more than anything else. His immeasurable power. Combine that with his kinetic energy, amazing endurance, and unstoppable drive, and it's no wonder he's achieved such greatness, including body slamming and defeating Andre the Giant. Look at this big time! Incredible! Looking to be in great shape here. It doesn't appear as though any damage has been done. Michaels is throwing everything he has at him. What a performance. Heads up. Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example of hitting it big. King, earlier you mentioned the Ultimate Warrior's Herculean power. Something else that always amazed me was the Warrior's speed. For someone who was six foot two and weighed 280 pounds, the Warrior sprinted to the ring and kept that energy level constant throughout his matches. Yeah, Michael, believe me, I was in Memphis when Warrior first started his career, before he was Warrior. And I was in the ring with him in the 90s. And let me tell you, it wasn't fun. The way Warrior combined his speed and energy with his power made for an almost unbeatable individual. Some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Michaels, sweet chin music. One, two. Shawn Michaels has so many different types of attacks that he can use, and he somehow brings them all together. I mean, if he wants to fly from the top rope, he can connect with a moonsault, an elbow drop, a flying cross body, or drop kick. I'm sure he has moves we don't even know about yet. Look at this. The Heartbreak Kid's not done yet. He takes to the end. Wow. Nice reversal by Michaels. Yeah, how many times have we seen that from HBK over the years? Every time, look out! He's inflicting some serious pain here. King, you nailed it when Shawn Michaels can attack from anywhere. Shawn Michaels has so many ways to put an opponent on his, you know what, all of HBK's moves from the air make me think of what he could do on the ground, like suplexes, enziguris, swinging neck breakers. Look out! Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. The Warrior was striking with his awesome power, an immeasurable amount of energy. This is how devastating offense normally wins matches. Unfortunately for the Warrior, it didn't happen this time. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Oh my God! The diving elbow drop. Say hello to the big Adios. You're right about that. Bye-bye. I think it's one of the things that helps Shawn Michaels ascend to such levels of greatness. He can do so many different things in so many different areas. Can you talk about attacks from the air, offense from the ground, HBK, sweet chin music! Oh, sweet chin music! And he goes for the cover. This is it. Two. 
It's over. It's all over. 